Beyond feelings, I will try to help you understand the dangers of oral sex based on common sense, health, and spiritual reasons. Be patient with me. If you disagree with the common sense aspect, you may agree with the health or spiritual aspect to eventually gain the ultimate motive. Your tongue is supposed to be one of the cleanest part of your body and pussy is one of the nastiest part of human body. Every vagina smells. They smell differently, but they all smell. Not just sweat, urine and blood pass there. The nature of pussy itself complexly draws, retains and discharges many things including sexually transmitted diseases. Why will you put one of the cleanest part of your body into the dirtiest part of someone else's body? I wouldn't want my tongue in my armpit after the cleanest was. A rude feminist may try to remind us we all came from that nasty thing. Please tell her respectfully that was not your choice and it doesn't change or even seek the men's on facts and refer her to me. If she insists, ask her why is the baby's tongue protected from licking her? Why babies come with some level of protective coverings and why do we wash babies when they exit from her if it was super clean? What is wrong in picking your nose with your tongue or your finger or wiping your ass with your hands? Common sense. In sex, your mind does not fully function. It is scientifically proven we, have, we feel less pain during sex. So you may not feel it is nasty, especially if ignorance retains the practice as culture or normal. Sometimes you have to grow from what you found and only dummy followers copy without reasoning. Oral sex existed in the white wall but is foreign to almost all other races. Due to Western dominance, many people follow and never question what is acceptable in the white wall. All races are heavily practicing oral sex, but the black male is perhaps the species that reject the culture more than any species. The black women are increasingly not just accepting it as normal, but demanding it with pressure and misleading lies. I will justify my claim later. On health reasons, the tongue is not just one of the most sensitive part, but a channel to the whole body. Homeopathic is a respectable field of medicine. Most homeopathic medicines are placed under the tongue for quick and deepest penetration into the body, among other things. For the homeopathic skeptics, every field of medicine accepts many diseases can be through skin contact. Will you risk your health with a mouth condom or be content with natural sex with or without condom? Although all the skin contact diseases are generally accepted to be transferable through oral sex, I want you to understand doctors are learning and have limited research on sex. Just recently, they discovered some new health problems prevalent in white males and is suspected to be due to oral sex. You do not need to be a doctor to understand it is unhealthy. As long as disease exists, oral sex is dangerous. Where else can most diseases reside more than pussy? Do not put illusory happiness or greed over health. Spiritually, the tongue is among the most powerful tool you worship God with. How can a dirty tongue worship a pure God? The tongue is what you pray to God with. Keep wondering why your prayers are not accepted. I am not claiming stopping oral sex will lead to fulfilled prayers, but a dirty and nasty tongue can be part of the reasons for unaccepted prayers. Obviously, stop talking evil, stop eating evil, including stop eating pussy may help. The tongue is among the top distinction between human and other creatures. So next time you say thank you God for giving me life, maybe many animals may be thanking God more than you for having life. When you say thank you for making me human, ask yourself if human tongue is not super special and needs to be guarded from nasty things. God even clothed or covered the tongue as a sign. Use your mind on how special is the human tongue to God and should be to you. If you're a soft, sweet-hearted person who loves teaching but hate fighting, I want a couple of things from you. I want you to swear you will never lick or press of people to lick pussy. Secondly, I want you to spread the message but also to write your own material on this topic. If you're not a writer, forward the message to the religious and social leaders. Explain to them the problem is on the rise and the devils are misleading many kids.
tell them to feel free to borrow from these teachings. Those of you who are strong-minded or do not agree with me can continue with me. Welcome to the part that will be teaching through fighting or fighting while teaching. I will be using factual but divisive tactics to achieve my end. Strong white people who do not lick pussy or do not want to be licked, please join the primarily black male standing as many seamless black women are increasingly following the white illusory standing. To understand how race and sex play a part on this issue, I will recommend a close look to Jamaica. Black male Jamaican musicians are fond of attacking eating pussy. And some of them even call for killing pussy lickers and those who demand to be licked. Some black female Jamaican musicians are encouraging men to lick pussy and accusing the black males as hypocrites who lick pussy secretly. Knowing that they may accuse me similarly, please allow me to imprecate. May God teach the hard way all pussy lickers and cause every woman who prays on men to lick pussy. If saying this publicly cannot convince you I'm not the type to bow before the prettiest girl in the world, send me whatever challenge may help you to understand that I prefer death over licking pussy. I know contentment and know better than was a midwoman woman or any form of power. By the way, I'm not a sexual saint. My sexual principles and sexual lives will be considered loose by many. I truly believe sex is a special secondary need similar to sleep and other forms of excretions. I believe in natural sex, preferably through marriage, but not necessarily. I am actually yet to marry. I believe it can be a sin to deny yourself sex for a long time after you reach certain age. Too much or too little sex is unhealthy. Do yourself favor on natural sex between man and woman and do understand that oral sex and many other forms of sex are mostly illusory devilish ways. To continue on our topic, some devils are spreading lies that need to be confronted. At first they were saying it's not harmful, but some of them are now claiming it is beneficial. We must confront their lies and cut their wings. The latest of those lies I had is licking pussy makes dicks harder. How? How come the dicks of the average white men who have been licking pussy for centuries are not close to as hard as the black males who refuse to lick? There are strong and weak men in every race. Overall, black males are stronger sexually and should never copy the ways of the weak white males that even some strong white males refuse to copy. They should learn from us sexually, not the reverse. We can all guess greed or weakness invented pussy licking as resort compensation. We should teach the greedy and the weak better ways rather than destroy the strong with illusory civilization. Responsible religious and social leaders must understand and face the problems of our times. A smart American president once said, when the competent do nothing, the, un the incompetent will take over. Millions are involved in oral sex, more than homosexuality, pornography, and adultery. Yet did you ever hear your pastor or imam lecture on it? Educate them and pressure them to speak on the topic. Prophet Muhammad discussed sex with his companions or disciples. The beloved Jesus Christ did similar. Now we have new problems. We cannot ignore them, pretending they do not exist. Sexually, women are more powerful than men. The extreme Western matriarchal claims women should not be pressured or forced sexually under no circumstances. I am also saying men who do not want to lick pussy should not be pressured. Proportionately, some forms of sexual pressure from women is equivalent to force. We need to try to respect the beauty in mutual and learn from each other. I have absolutely no doubt that there is no tongue that can satisfy like the average blessing of a black male love. And there are some other benefits on during, through natural sex. If I can comfortably give you 30 to 60 minutes of natural good loving, I expect you to be happy or at least be content unless you are a greedy whore that prefers lesbian tongue. I will have to stop here due to YouTube's time limits, but we'll continue the fight some other time. If you are among those who sincerely repent, may God forgive you and lead you to help others. May God cause those who spread the lie that pussy licking is harmless. May God cause those who demand pussy licking through pressure or encourage it in any way. 
May God bless all of Trinity.